What's up guys, thank you for tuning in for another video. I am going to be installing the K-member back into my Mustang. If you guys haven't seen the video of me installing the headers, make sure to go check the link down in the description and you guys can watch that video. But today, like I said, we're installing this K-member. Let's get it back in the car. All right, I have enlisted the help of my dad and the K-member is going back into the car. The lighting is so trash because the sun is really bright. But hopefully you guys can kind of see, it's we've got it jacked up a little bit right now. I'm just working on getting the bolts lined up. So basically, trying to get this bolt hole right here up into that right there. So we've got about, what do you say, four more inches to go up. I'm gonna use the floor jack right here to kind of lift this up. This is the time lapse of me putting the K-member back in the car. I was using a Harbor Freight transmission jack along with my regular automotive jack to support the K-member as I lined up the bolt holes and put it back in the car. I also wanted to apologize for my energy levels later in the video. At this point, I had been working on the car for about four hours and I was pretty tired. All right, they're all in. Nice. Just got the K member back into the car. Probably gonna cut that into a time lapse because it was mostly just me running around the car, checking all the bolts and stuff. But now, I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do. Probably just gonna start putting the suspension back together. So I'll probably just show you guys one side of that. You guys cannot see me because it's so bright. But yeah, K members back in. Pretty hyped. All right, guys, another progress checkpoint here. I got pretty much all the suspension stuff back together, so I will show you this. All right, so here is the brakes and suspension, obviously. Everything is back together. We are about to bleed the power steering system because I did replace the power steering rack. So up here, got some Mercon 5 ATF. I've been reading, I think that's what you're supposed to use, so I'm gonna fill this up, let my dad uh, watch this while I turn the steering wheel, and we're gonna bleed the power steering system. Uh, so in here, in there, just need to watch. I guess you can see it right here as well. Um, I'm gonna turn the wheel and it's probably gonna go down a little bit. So just make sure it doesn't like run out. Hold on. Yeah, a little bit. The bubbles are coming out. Dude, this is awesome. All right, we're gonna start it up so we can run the pump. So just, I would just start it and let it, and turn the wheel while it's running for like 10 seconds and shut it off. Check our level. Oh, it's pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit and then uh, we'll start it up again. Nothing like those open header cold starts, bro. Yeah. Turn it a little bit. Which way? Just both ways. I'm trying to see if the fluid level drops at all. All right, you're good. We're gonna start it up again and do the same thing. just top it off as it needs it. All right guys, just wanna say thank you for watching. I know this was kind of a shorter video. I didn't really record that much since I was just kind of moving around the car so much. But I did get the K-member in, got the power steering blood, and the car sounds pretty cool. Open header, but I'm still waiting on exhaust parts to come in so we can get the exhaust finished up. I will make another video of installing the X-pipe and the cat-back exhaust that I got. Stay tuned for that. If you're excited for more Mustang content like this, make sure to subscribe down below and leave a comment down there. Tell me what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.